Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. And guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to separate your one giant audio track full of like three different elements into multiple audio tracks, making it much easier for you to manage in your OBS Studio recordings. Basically, you want to have your track separated so it's much easier to adjust certain elements to you know what it needs to be basically so say you have your discord audio your desktop audio and your microphone audio all in the same audio track and one is a little too loud you won't be able to adjust it accordingly because it's all on one audio track that's why it's very important to have three separate audio tracks in this situation so you can adjust each element individually to what will make the video the best possible quality and that way you can adjust your sounds accordingly and get the perfect sound for each element so basically we're going to start out on this website right here this link will be in the description it's going to be the first link and it will bring you to this page now i am recording this video on june 7th 2018 so if you're like watching this six months in the future it may look a little bit different but it should be the same layout roughly so what you want to do first off is download the first or just click on this first download button right here and what this is going to do is it's going to download a virtual audio cable and you're actually going to need two cables but this only allows you to download one so basically you're going to also have to download two more cables which will cost you four dollars and 17 cents i'll get to that in a second but we're going to stick to this first cable which you're going to need in the first place so you're going to want to click this download button and it will uh, start up the download it'll take like five seconds it's not that big at all once you have downloaded that you're going to want to go ahead and click on it and open it and basically once it's opened you're going to have to extract the file you just right click on it and you'll click extract files or extract all or something like that and basically you'll extract that that file into a separate file full of the extracted files i know i said the word file like a ton there but you should get the gist just make sure to extract the files once you have downloaded this basically once you do that it'll bring you to this page right here as you can see this is this has all the elements contained in the download and basically you're going to want to focus on the three application files as you can see these are an application type of file none of these other ones are applications so you're going to want to focus on these three files in particular so what you're going to want to do with these is right click on them individually so you're going to, want to click on the first one individually and right click it and run as administrator and basically this will run the um vb cable control panel as you can see and basically you're going to, want to do that for all three of these and that'll get the program going and ready to go and on the third one once you run it as an administrator basically it'll pop up with like an install vb cable like box like in the top left of your screen and it'll say install now and you're going to click that and that'll install the actual cable itself and what this is going to do i'm kind of getting ahead of myself but basically if you go to sounds you'll see this cable input this white cable right here you'll see that on your screen for the first time you, you've never seen it before until you run all three of these applications then you will see this cable right here now back to what i was saying about the paid cables basically i mentioned that you are going to have to pay uh, actual money for these separate cables down here Basically, you need two cables, like I said, and you've got the first one already, but you're going to need to get another one, which you can't get for free. You actually have to pay money for this, but in my opinion, it's very worth it since you can separate your audio tracks and make very much higher quality videos. To do this, you're going to have to go ahead and you donate a donation of four dollars and 17 cents. So basically, I live in the U.S., so I'm going to click on the donate button right here for USD and it will bring you to this page. Now, as you can see, you have five different options of what you can donate. I did the cheapest one, obviously. It's $5, but um, basically you're gonna go through the process of adding it to your cart, and uh, you're, you're gonna have to you know, go through all the information. There's like a five-step process, so you'll proceed to checkout, and basically you'll, you'll go through these five steps. You have to sign in, address, shipping, all that good stuff and once you have made the purchase basically they will send you an email with a download link that will give you cables a and cable b so basically you're going to go to your email and click on that download link and it'll automatically start to download the cable a and b file basically that will give you the vb cable ab driver pack 43 
right here. So once you've clicked on the link in your email, it'll automatically download this and this is what you're gonna get right here. And basically in this, it contains two separate cable files. So as you can see, we have VB cable A driver and VB cable B drivers. Right click on them and extract the files, which will give you this and this right here. I just have all my information in one folder, so it's kind of making it a little more complicated, but you should get the gist. Basically, you just right click on these two, which were in this driver pack that contains both of them, and then you will extract the files from each individual one to give you this and this. And basically, you're gonna do the same exact process that you did with the original cable that you that was free. And basically, you go to your three applications right here, and you right click on each one individually and run as administrator. You'll go through the same exact process. And once you get to the third one, it's gonna be the same exact thing. Once you run this one, it'll come up with a, a thing in the top left that says install now or install driver cable A, and you'll install that and click OK. And then you'll have the A cable. If I go back to my sounds right here, then you will see that if I go to playback, you'll have the A cable. And it'll be the same thing once you go and do the, the same exact thing for cable B, you'll see cable B input. So basically, once you go through this process, you'll get these three cables right here, which are very important and are basically going to lead you to the three separate audio tracks in OBS Studio. All right, so now that you have your three cables downloaded and ready to go, basically what you wanna do is make your way to the playback section of your sound tab. If you don't know how to get here, just search up sounds in your computer and it'll bring you to this page and just click on playback. And basically all you need to do in this category is just make your cable input, which is the white cable, just set this as your default cable. So basically what this is gonna do, it's gonna reprogram everything to go in through this cable. So after you've done this, make your way to the recording tab and what you're gonna wanna do here is you're gonna have to right click on all three of your cables. So just individually, you right click, click on properties, go to listen, and basically you wanna check mark this, listen to this device, check mark that, and play through this device. You wanna make this your headset that your audio comes through and what you actually listen to. So in this case, it's my USB audio device, which is my headset. So just reprogram everything to come through this and you'll just select that and you'll click OK and you'll do that for all three of these. So you just go right click, properties, listen, listen to this device and set the um, playback through this device as your headset once again. Just click OK and you do that for the last one as well. Right click, properties, listen, uh, check this and make this your headset. So I, I did that three times. Hopefully you've got the gist of it. And once you've done this, then your cables are all set and ready to go. And you can finally make your way to OBS Studio. Actually, before we make our way into OBS, you want to go into your Discord or whatever you want your third audio track to be. So in this case, I want my Discord volume to be my third track. It can also be TeamSpeak or any other audio device that you want to pick up. But basically in Discord, this is my example, you just go to your settings and you go to voice and video. And basically you're going to want to focus on the output device right here. Now the input device, this is what you speak into and other, how other people hear you basically. So you just want to set that as your microphone. Uh, it's probably already set up, but in the output device, you're gonna wanna go ahead and make this cable A input. Uh, as you can see, I also have cable B input as an option, and I also have the cable input, just the, the free cable that you first downloaded. So you wanna make sure this is cable a input and that is going to be your cable a so now you can close out of this and make your way into obs studio all right so once you're in obs studio you want to open up your settings right here and go to audio and basically it'll bring you up to this screen now basically we're going to be messing with the desktop audio the mic audio device one and the mic audio device two. Now basically this is going to reroute your microphone and your desktop audio to make sure that you have three separate tracks when you record using OBS Studio. So the first thing is your desktop audio device. Make sure to set this to cable input, not, not cable input A or cable B input. Uh, just the regular default cable input that you that you first downloaded in this video. So once you've done that, you're gonna wanna make your way to the mic audio device one. And basically this is just the regular microphone that you use to talk in your videos, which produces your audio in your videos. So in this case, I use the Yeti stereo microphone or the Blue Yeti. So I set that as this microphone. And basically in the mic auxiliary device two, you're gonna wanna set it as cable A output. You know how we set up the Discord audio to be 
uh, cable device A, as you saw here in cable A output, we set that as that. Well, guess what? We're doing the same thing here, cable A output. This is going to link your Discord sound into your mic audio device too. So that's how it kind of works. You, you set one thing up as, as you saw in Discord, we set it up as cable A input and we reroute it to cable A input in OBS Studio. So that's kind of the, the background to this or the behind the scenes, I guess you'd say. And so yeah, basically once you got all this done, you can click OK or hit apply and then OK. And basically you can make your way back to this home screen. And as you can see, we have three separate audio tracks right here. We have our desktop audio, we have our microphone audio, and we have our mic uh, audio too. As you can see, my microphone audio is the only thing running at the moment because I am talking into my microphone, but say a video was playing, if a video was going in the background, the desktop audio would go up and down. As you can see, this is going up and down. The desktop audio would be going if a video was playing, and if my Discord, if I was talking to somebody and my Discord was making noise, basically the mic audio too would be going up and down. So we have rerouted everything to make three separate audio tracks and basically this allows you to adjust them accordingly uh, if one's too loud you can adjust it up and down and all that so this makes it very convenient to adjust your volume in each of the separate categories say that i'm talking too loud in my videos well guess what i can just reduce my microphone right here obviously i'm not going to do that because i don't need to but if i did i could just lower it all right, so the next thing we're going to do is right click in this area just below the word mixer here. And basically, once you do this, you go to advanced audio properties. And this brings up this screen. And we're going to be focusing on the tracks section right here. Now, the tracks section uh, right here basically adjusts the way that your tracks are, you know, set up within your video itself. So if I click on a video of mine that I made, Basically, if I go to this little box right here, it says show menu for subtitles and audio. If I click on this, as you can see, it has my four sets, my four different sets of audio. As you can see, set one has my microphone, desktop, and Discord audio all played in one. So this is like the full video coming to light right here. So if I click on that, if I check mark it, basically all my audio from the three separate tracks are playing. Now, if I click on set two, this just has my microphone audio, and you'll only hear me talking out of my microphone. And that's the same thing with my desktop and my Discord audio. I've separated them all up. And basically, this allows me to adjust my audio accordingly. If I think it's too soft, then I can raise the, uh, the audio for that certain track. It's just a very convenient thing to have, and I would definitely recommend setting this up. So as you can see, I have four separate audio tracks here, and conveniently, I have four separate audio tracks here. As you can see, set one has all three of these uh, check marks checked, and that displays all three audio tracks. And if we go back to uh, my video right here, as you saw, it has my mic slash desktop slash Discord audio all in one, and that's because I check marked all three of these things. Now in set two, I just check marked the microphone audio and which gives me just the microphone audio in set two. And that's the same thing with the desktop and Discord audio. Like I said, this is a very convenient tool to have. It basically allows you to be able to tell if one certain track is too soft, you can increase it. If one's too loud, you can decrease it. It's just a good way to separate your audio and just listen to just that one separate track itself, allowing you to adjust your video to you know get your audio the best it can be. And if I go back to my video here, in the four sets, you can see that I've named them the different audio tracks. And you can actually name, you can basically set up these names. If you go to settings, you go to uh, output, and audio, you can name the four separate tracks right here. So as you can see, it has the mic slash desktop slash Discord audio, the mic audio, desktop audio, Discord audio. Conveniently, that is set up in this little section here. It has those exact names and it'll be able to play the track with that audio uh, according to which one it is. So I just set this up to make it very convenient for me to see what audio needs to be adjusted accordingly. And basically, this just allows me to get my video the best quality it can be regarding the audio. It's just a great thing to have in my opinion, just to give myself the best video quality possible. And that's really the main thing of this last part is just to listen to what your audio, you know, is and how it should be adjusted. So that that's really this last part. And basically, we've covered everything. You've you now have three separate audio tracks, and hopefully, this video helped you get these 
three tracks set up and make it easier or much easier for you to you know see your audio and adjust it accordingly and it's just a great thing to have set up in your OBS studio just to give you much better results when making videos but yeah guys that is going to wrap it up for this video hope you guys did find it useful and if you did make sure to drop a like and a comment saying something supportive you know if I did something wrong or just anything you want to add you know anything is much appreciated so if you could do that that would be fantastic but guys that is going to wrap it up like I said and guys I'll talk to you later have a nice day guys peace out